find the derivative of f of x equals the secant of 3x squared. It's very important that you realize when you see a problem that looks like this that the chain rule will be required. If f of x was just equal to the secant of x, it is stated that the derivative of f of x is simply the secant of x times the tangent of x. But a more specific definition of the derivative of f of x equals the secant of x is described with the chain rule. If f of x equals the secant of u, then the derivative is the secant of u times the tangent of u times the derivative of u. That's not accounted for in the original in the original formula for the derivative of the secant because if you think about applying the second formula to the derivative of the secant of x, you would get the secant of x times the tangent of x times the derivative of x, which is simply a 1. So if you're taking the derivative of the secant of just an x, then you don't have to worry about multiplying by the derivative of what's inside the parentheses at the end because it's always just a 1. But as soon as you're taking the derivative of the secant of something other than just an x, we have to think about the second definition of a derivative of a secant. Let's apply that to the derivative, to find the derivative of f of x equals the secant of 3x squared. Well, the derivative is going to be, the, I'm going to consider u to be 3x squared. The derivative of the secant of u is the secant of u times the tangent of u. In this case, that's the secant of 3x squared times the tangent of 3x squared. But then that's multiplied by the derivative of u, the derivative of 3x squared which in this case is 6x. I'll write my final answer with the 6x in front of secant 3x squared times tangent 3x squared.